Hello and welcome back to Projects in Java. Today we're going to complete our camera application. What we're going to do today is finish the switching between cameras and allow for face detection. So let's go to our project and in the camera frame we're going to go to the action perform method and we're going to get the source as a J menu item. So source is equal to cast J menu item and then e dot get source and then we're going to get the number of the camera that we're going to use so we'll just call this int num is equal to integer dot parse int and so if you haven't used parse int before it converts a string to a number And so we're going to get this string from the J menu item. So we call source.getText. And then we're going to get the substring. So we're going to strip off the first seven characters. And we're going to subtract one since our listing starts from one. Then we're going to call cp.switchCamera. And we'll create this method in the camera panel right now. And that's going to take the number. OK, now let's go over to the camera panel, create the new method. And it's going to be public void switch camera. And then we'll pass that the integer. And then capture is equal to new video capture. And we'll pass that x. Now let's go ahead and test this. So we have our first camera. And then we switch to our second camera. Now let's go ahead and work on face detection. This is something I didn't have in the original project, but I thought it was something nice to implement. And then here in the camera panel, we're going to create a cascade classifier. This is part of OpenCV. And this is what's going to allow us to detect the faces. So we'll call this face detector. And then we're also going to create a mat of rectangle. And we'll call this face detections. This is what's going to keep track of where the faces are. And now let's go ahead and initialize these. So here in the default constructor, we're going to initialize face detector. And it's going to equal a new cascade classifier. And here we're going to take an XML file that is in our OpenCV directory. So let's go to it. Let's go to sources, then data, then har cascades. And we're going to do the third file here, frontal face alt. So let's just go ahead and drag and drop that into Eclipse. We'll copy it. And now we'll call camera panel dot class dot get resource. And we'll pass it the string name of the file we're looking for, which is this one. And then get path dot substring. And we're going to strip the first character. And then we also need to initialize face detection. So face detections. Let me just correct that spelling. So face detections is equal to new mat 
of rectangle. Now let's go down to our while loop. And so right here we're going to call face detector. Dot detect multi scale. And we're going to pass that the webcam image and face detections. And so what this is doing, it's using the XML file to find the faces, and then it's putting them into face detections. Now that we have that set up, we can go ahead and print rectangles. So here in the paint component, we're going to call a for loop for each rec, and we'll call this rec and face detections. Let's import a rec. Make sure you import the OpenCV one. We are going to draw, so g.drawrect. And then we're going to give it the x coordinate of the rectangle, so rect.x, and then rect.y, and then rect.width. And rect.height. And here we'll add two array. And then we need to add 10 here and 40 here to match our image. And the last thing we want to do here is set the color to green. So G dot set color. And we'll call color dot green. Now let's go ahead and test this. And so this isn't going to work with Mario, so let's replace him. And we'll add an image here. And as you can see, it's putting green rectangles around each of the faces that it can detect. So I hope you enjoyed this project. OpenCV is a really great open source tool that we can use. So I hope you utilize that in future projects.